In this lesson, we will be learning about the basic needs of humans and animals. You're going to need some paper and a pen while you watch this video to note down any things that you find interesting and to jot down some answers to questions that I ask. I want you to imagine that you have been chosen to lead a mission into space. You're going to be alone for two weeks while you rocket towards the moon. What do you need to take with you to keep yourself happy and healthy? Pause and think of three things that you would like to take with you. What did you decide to take with you? Do you need these things to keep you alive? What do humans need to stay alive? There are many things that humans like to have to make their lives more enjoyable or more comfortable. But there are only a few things that we really need. Do you know what they are? Write them or draw a picture of them now if you think you know. Air. Mammals, reptiles and birds breathe air through their nose or mouth into their lungs. Fish and other sea creatures breathe underwater through special organs called gills. Creatures that live on the land get water by drinking and from the food that they eat. Animals that live in water take in water by drinking through their skin and through their food. Food. All animals need to eat food to stay alive. Some animals only eat other animals. These animals are carnivores. Some animals eat only plants. These animals are herbivores. And some animals eat animals and plants. These animals are omnivores. Okay, so time for a little quiz to go over some of the things that we have learned so far. I'm going to read some statements. The statement I read will either match to this group of mammals, reptiles and birds, or it will match to this group, fish and other sea creatures. You need to decide which group you think my statement matches to. Some of the answers might fit both groups, so you'll have to be very careful. Remember, you can pause after each question if you need more time to write down your answer. So, number one. Which group gets water by drinking or from their food? Number two. Which group breathes water through their gills? Number three, which group gets water by drinking from food or through their skin? Number four, which group eats meat, plants or both? And number five, which group breathes air into their lungs? Okay, so I'm going to take you through the answers now so you can mark this yourself. Number one, who gets water by drinking or from food? That is mammals, reptiles and birds. Number two, who breathes water through gills? That should be fish and other sea creatures. Number three, who gets water by drinking from food or through skin? That is fish and other sea creatures. Number four, who eats meat, plants or both? Now this can go into either group and it should be for both of them. 
And number five, who breathes air into their lungs? That is mammals, reptiles, and birds. In the next part of this lesson, we are going to be thinking about caring for animals. So animals in nature have what's called a habitat. This habitat provides them with everything they need. The squirrel lives in a hole in an oak tree. The oak tree gives it shelter. The squirrel eats the acorns from the oak tree. It drinks water from ponds and puddles. The squirrel takes care of itself because the habitat provides everything that it needs. When animals are cared for by humans, they are no longer in their natural habitat. We are then responsible for looking after the animals in our care, as they cannot look after themselves. We keep animals as pets. We keep some animals on farms. And some animals are kept in zoos. All of these animals need to be cared for in different ways to make sure that they have a happy and healthy life. Can you think of anything else that these animals might need? What about other animals in our care? Your task for this lesson is to choose a pet and find out all about it. Think of some interesting questions that you would like to ask about your pet. Use these question words to give you some ideas. Who, what, where, when, how, and why. When you've thought of some interesting questions, choose your favorite one. I've done an example here for you to see how you might like to lay it out. But what I'd like you to do is find out what the animal looks like, what it likes to eat, where it lives, and how to care for it. Write a fact to teach people all about the pet. Think of an interesting question about the animal and find out the answer. Once you have completed your animal fact file, please post a picture of it to your class portfolio. I can't wait to learn all about some animals from your fact files.